heard. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't give advice. I really don't. But I, I, I got a letter. There's no kidding you. I got a letter from a lady about a month ago. Mm -hmm. She writes, Dear Joe Franklin, I watch you every night late on TV. Very, very late. And I got nobody to talk to, nobody to confide in. She says she needs my advice. Right. She's engaged to get married. Should she tell her fiancé before or after the wedding that she has false teeth? <laughs> no, I couldn't resist. You know what I told her? Right, right on the air. I said, lady, I said, my advice is get married and keep your mouth shut. <laughs> That's one of the few times that I gave advice on That's TV. good advice. That's good advice. George, you and I are going to do the kind of a routine tonight, not only closed theaters, but closed cities, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. And you gave up a lot of dates to come here today. Gave up you? a $2 club date at Klein's Hillside. Right. A $4 club date at Shapiro's uh, by the Sea. No, no, <laughs> that's sunk. That's sunk. But I'm, I'm... You could be on the boardwalk and sell the clams there for the same price. Well, it's good to see you. And I want to say that uh, uh, you've been in television 32 years now. And uh, I want to ask you a few things about that, because that's just phenomenal. That's amazing. How, do, how, we, how can anybody remain in a business as crazy as television for 32 years? The secret, I guess, on a serious note, is to uh, have sincerity, to acquire sincerity. That's the key. And once you've learned to fake that, <laughs> then you've got it made. No, no, seriously. I think the trick, the trick, seriously, George, on a, uh, uh, is eye contact. That's the key. I mean, you've you got to look in people's eyes. Many, many talk show hosts from radio mm -hmm. have tried TV, and they just can't make it. Their eyes tend to roam or their eyes tend to look beady or shit. Or Italy or something else. Yeah, like right. Venice. <laughs> that, <laughs> I see the, what you mean, the though. The whole trick is to make the guests relax and look in their eyes and uh, make them forget they're on TV. Many TV authors, many authors are making the rounds against their will. They don't want to make those rounds. They'd rather sit home and just write books in their ivory tower and make money, but their last couple of books didn't sell so well. So the publisher mm -hmm. says, you got to make the rounds. you got to go on the Donahue show, That's on me. the Merv Griffin show. And uh, so the, against their will, belligerently, to go on these shows, and they're bad guests. So right. so, so if, if a guest is a flop, mm -hmm. it's not the, the, the talent coordinator or the guest. It's the fault of the MC. It behooves the MC to, to look in the them. eyes. And right. right. I agree with you 100%. You've always done that, so there's your uh, there's plus, plus success right there. Be prepared. But don't be overprepared. Just know enough. Do your little research, little homework. But don't have ten thousand questions on your mind and interrupt the minute the man starts to make a thought. Because I've seen you've seen these hosts where they rapid fire questions. They don't give you a chance to develop uh, a you're thought. Right. Give them time. I better write this down. This is good homework for you're me. You're doing. You're doing great. <laughs> I'm learning from the right man, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you that, Joe. I want to ask you some questions that. Uh, we are good friends, first of all, and I speak to Joe all the time. But the audience is probably interested in certain things regarding TV. Thirty-two years. First of all, did you begin your career in television? I was on radio, and radio. about 32 years ago this week, the management of Channel 7, which is now WABC TV, then it was WJZ TV. They were on the air at that time only from 5 p.m. till sermonette. You know, they mm -hmm. were deciding then to light up in the daytime. They asked me if I could occupy an hour a day in the daytime. And I said, sure. I said, I'll try it. He said, what kind of a show would you do, Joe? I said, how about kids dancing to phonograph records? You know, rock and roll was getting right. big then. Yeah, yeah. They said, Joe, you're crazy. He was going to watch kids dance to records. <laughs> Look at Dick Clark today, right? Dick Clark. I said, right. well, how about, how about the words on the screen singing old songs? I said, Joe, uh, who's going to... They said, the word is television. you got to give him vision. Mitch gotta, Miller. Mitch Miller, Mitch Miller did it. They said, you got to give him action, pratfall, seltzer bottles, mm -hmm. baggy pants. This was the day of Jerry Lester, Broadway Open Broadway House. Open House. Dagmar. Right. By the way, talking about big feats, there's a lady coming on today. Takes <laughs> care of big feats and little feats. I have been to uh, Laura's uh, um, reflexology, right? And it, it really, when you leave there, you're walking on air, you're floating. It's a fabulous thing. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We will have Laura Norman with us later on, who is a foot reflexologist, and I'm going to learn what that is, and so will you. But right now, they told me that a the talk the show. Hour. They said a talk show. They said a nose to nose, eyeball to eyeball, could never last on TV. Right. You've got to give them television. But I defied them. Movement. I think. Movement. That's what they advocated. Slapstick. Slapstick. Salsa bottles, you know. But I, I gave them a talk show anyhow, and I, I think, I'm not sure, maybe Steve Allen might have been before me. Right. Or Jack Parr, I'm not sure. But I gave him the first low-key, quiet talk show. My first guest was Fanny Hurst, Imitation of Life and mm -hmm. Backstreet. And I've had, since then, they, they say in the Guinness Book of Records that came out this week, 100,000 guests. Wow. It's a lot of interviews. 100,000 guests. Do you remember them all? Inclu I remember, <laughs> including George Bettinger. Uh, it's done Joe's show many times, and it's always a, a great pleasure working with him. When did you uh, first come on television? What was your, do you remember the year? Very first. He, my first show, I think, was, uh, was about uh, 50. October 53. 53. Or September 53. And I called my show Joe Franklin's Memory Lane. Right. And I still, I don't call it, now I just call it the Joe Franklin Show Lane segment once in a while with old movie clips. Uh huh. Yes, I know. The and people love that. They do. And Joe, on the first show, uh, did you, well, how long was it, the first episode? One hour. 
and for one hour were you sitting and chatting or were you showing films? A variety. You my, did nostalgia my, plus? I had live singers my first year. My singers uh, by 1960 had included on, on my staff Connie Francis, oh. Eddie Fisher, wow. Barbara Streisand 40 times, mm. uh, Bette Midler. Dynamite. I wow. gave her that song, Boogie Woogie Boogie Boy of Company B, that was from my sheet music collection. Wow. That's the song that, that was a big over. hit. Yes, yeah. Sir. She her, did a great job on her that. Her pianist on, uh, at that time was Barry Manilow yeah. on my show. <clears throat> Gee whiz. And I've got, uh, I, I, I did not, nobody discovers anybody, but the first exposure mm -hmm. to all those people, Woody Allen, mm. Liza Minnelli, Bill Cosby, you got all the pictures there, many, many. <clears throat> Let's take a look at some of these pictures. Joe brought along some photographs of different times on the show. Just a few and, of them. Uh, see if we can get a shot of that. And right uh, here. And we're some, looking. sometimes they come back, sometimes they don't. Most of them are pretty busy. That's right. Bill Cosby when he was my anchor man, helping me do my commercials for those little tea bags. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, I see you got all the Tetley tea there. They used to do the commercials live, right? At right the whole show, here. there was no videotape, no nothing. There was kinescope in those days. Mm -hmm. And over here I see a, a more recent show, Who's one that? I think I remember, Bing Crosby. That uh, might have been my highlight hour. He was in such great form that day, sang about us without music, and to get Bing to sing without accompaniment was quite a feat. Wow. Big feats. <laughs> you hear that, Laura? You'll be talking about that later. Let's see who else. We have now. Who is in this picture? Let's There's see. an awful lot of people here, Joe. It's just one I grabbed out of the grab bag. This one in Gloria Swanson. Wow! Look uh, at that. Otto Preminger, oh. Barry Sullivan. Wow! All on one no, show. No, no, I'm sorry, Barry Nelson, I think, and Barry uh, Nelson. Mayor uh, Beam. Oh, Abe the Beam. little man who's right on the beam. <coughs> That's Mayor the Beam. I remember. I remember. And who's this lady over there? I can't tell from here, but probably uh, she was somebody. Somebody may be well known. Okay. And now this is a picture that I'm interested in. I, I looked at this before, and I wanted to wait till we we're on the air to ask you. That's Miss Miller. Miss Miller. Who's the queen of the uh, talk show, uh, what's the word, the groupies, groupies. She follows all the talk show ho hosts mm -hmm. out in California now. She works with Merv Griffin, Johnny Carson. And what's also. this? Oh, that's my thumb. Oh, okay. That's your thumb, right. <laughs> right. Watch out for that cuticle. <laughs> <laughs> One hangnail, you're out of a job, you know. I know, I know. And uh, right here we have... Uh, we have the Jay Giles, that's the Jay Giles band, right? With Peter and Wolf, one of my classic shows. Mm -hmm. One that of my golden great one. dozen. I remember that one, I remember that. I see that often. I, want to do, uh, I wanted to uh, ask you a couple of other things. Uh, when you were on television, we all know what was on network, because we see repeats of I Love Lucy, we see You Bet Your Life, we see The Twilight Zone. What other local shows, when you came on, were around at that time? I began the same day as the Maury Amsterdam show, the Maggie McNeil show, Nancy Craig, Tom Poston, uh, I, there must have been uh, the Buster Crab show, mm -hmm. the Jerry Lester daytime show. Right. And you also had at the same time the nighttime uh, Hop along thing. Cassidy, yeah. Right, right. And I've, uh, I'm still there. I can't figure it out. I'm getting now 100 letters a week from Hawaii, 100 oh, letters a week from Alaska. That's fantastic. 100 letters a week from Puerto Rico. The satellite thing is quite unbelievable. That's great, Joe. And over here, you just showed me an article. I just want to hold this up. Uh, uh, in Video <coughs> Review, which just came out. Today. This is today's. Uh, uh, issue of video review, the World Authority on Home Video, and inside is a, a whole little article here on Joe Franklin and uh, his 32 years in television right there, folks. George, I want to tell you something that I just came today to help you launch your new series. I I've been you. a fan of yours for many years, from the first, first time I saw you, Ziegfeld Folly <laughs> with W.C. Fields. And George Jessel, who <clears throat> was 1929, and we were in the uh, Ziegfeld Follies, and everything was cheaper then, and you, so was my salary. You were the tall, slinky one, with the statuesque <laughs> one, with the sequins. That was and, Slim Somerville, I right. think, you're confusing us. And I think that, uh, that the world needs new faces, right. new talk show hosts, and I am a fan of yours and what you're doing for nostalgia. It's got to be my first and favorite uh, friend ever was Eddie Cantor, mm -hmm. who was number one in radio, number well, one in TV. Well, you know, Joe, I love you too, and it's such a great honor to be seated here with you once again. And I want to tell the audience as I'm running away that if not for George and me, you'd never hear the name Eddie Cantor. <laughs> fame, <laughs> That's right. Fame is very, fame is very fleeting. Okay. So let's keep. Keep I want to keep up that that uh, nostalgia with you, and I will be doing each other's shows, I hope, plenty of time. Please invite me back. And Joe, I want to, before you go, uh, what's your advice to young people like myself in... Uh, Who want to be in show business? Right. Aspiring actors and actresses? Right. Don't leave your wallet in the dressing room. <laughs> <laughs>